and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. I'm super excited, okay? My wife could tell she's smiling. Why, why are you smiling? Are you as excited as I am? Yes, yes. I want to see what's in the box over there. The boxes. That's the segment. <laughs> it's what's in the boxes, okay? It started off with what's in the box, then they piled up. So let me just give a little bit of context here. You know, I, obviously you guys know I'm a action figure nut and I order all kinds of shit. So um, all of it, I don't know, in the last two months has just like everything has shipped and collected. So I say this to you, my wife, this is not some purchase I made over the course of a week. Just know this is this represents months and months of purchases before you start thinking my husband is an addict. Uh, he's a he's a freak. I got to go to a divorce lawyer. This and that. No, okay. <laughs> this is this is not that much in the context of the world. In in a, in, a, in 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 the spectrum of time, it's not that much, okay. But we're gonna go through it. And the other thing is, what's the other thing? Um, the other thing. It, oh, the other thing is, you know that I'm an out of box collector. So even though these boxes look like it's a lot. I crack them open, toss the box, it takes up less room. I would say that all this stuff is probably a shelf or two worth, okay? Before anybody asks, I know I'm a, a broken record. I don't have a display room right now, all right? Uh, we were gonna move, move didn't happen. All the shit's in some room, just kind of stuffed there. It's but a work in progress. It's a work in progress and in progress and progress. I know I sound like, you know, if you've heard this. We'll get there eventually. Yes, we will, okay? <laughs> I'm confident that we're, we're gonna get there, but let's 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 go to the topic of the video what everybody wants to see what's in the boxes all right so i got let me see one two three four five six boxes so let's go ahead and open them up let's start with the smallest one i got my trusty knife right here and uh let's do this oh man and i know what some of this stuff is but to be honest because it's been so long some of this shit i'm like I don't even remember what it is. Um, and the only clue is the stickers, like, you know, this one is like BBTS. Wow, so you'll be just as surprised as we are. For some of it, I will be, yes. Bubble wrap, let's get that out of here. Oh, yes. So this is the GameStop Miles Morales action figure by Sentinel. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This was um, previewed last year. This is uh, 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 the, the Spider-Verse movie, Miles Morales, uh, uh, obviously uh, the, the Miles Morales Spider-Man. And I always loved the previews of uh, th this figure. I never got a Sentinel figure, but it looked so cool that I'm like, I should, I, I want to order this. So I got it from GameStop, finally shipped. Um, by the way, I'll probably be doing uh, reviews on these things. Let me know if you guys have specific ones that you want to see, but I'm, I'm guessing I'll do reviews on all of them. Just just takes time to put all that shit together. But yeah, this Miles Morales, I was very excited. I said, let me take a chance, let me take a flyer. You can see some of the picks here. I mean, this is a this is a badass action figure. I mean, other than, I think the um, the hot toy, which I, I just can't get into hot toys. It's just, uh, not that they're not beautiful. I'm just like, that is a- uh, They're expensive. Yes, that is a rabbit hole that I dare not get into. I think we only have, what, one? We have two Yeah. hot toys, but- uh, I'll pass on the hot toy, but Miles Morales, Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, um, there is a Peter Parker coming out, and I am interested in that one, comes with a big old lion's head that he kind of sits on, um, uh, and uh, so, I don't know, I might get that kind of compliment, it's got a big base, so maybe I have the Peter Parker and the Miles Morales on one base, but uh, very excited about this, Spider-Man uh, uh, by, uh, by Sentinel. It looks very posable. Super posable. So, moving forward, this is Bluefin, Bluefin Bandai. I have a guess on what this is. Actually, I know what this is, but you don't. Nope. So. <laughs> I have no, no idea, no yes. inkling what you ordered. <laughs> I keep my wife in the dark on yes. all things, okay? <laughs> just because that's just the way we roll. So, let's get this, oh yes. All right, so there's two things in this box. The first thing is the Golden Axe Skeletons. I think this is the silver, what is this? The silver Golden Axe Skeletons. Yes, it is. Uh, so this was this event exclusive where they came out with these like 
um, uh, silver, rustic, or rustic, uh, uh, um, I don't know, like this corroded uh, 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 skeleton patina. Uh, I have the old skeleton uh, two pack where it's just like the white bones and then I have the pink one. But when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. I'm also on the hunt for the gold skeletons. I was, I just kind of want like a golden ax display with all the skeletons. So when I saw this, I had to get it. Um, I think this was uh, the SDCC exclusive. Yes, it was. And it was only available there. And uh, and yeah, so I'll be, at some point, I'm gonna have all the skeletons display. I'm gonna have like a little golden ax section, okay? And on the subject of golden ax, we have the Death Bringer, okay? Let me show it when I say the fucking name. Deathbringer. There we go. Okay, so you got Death Adder. You play the console Golden Axe. Death Adder is the, the, the main boss in the in the arcade. You play the console Golden Axe, you get this bad boy, Deathbringer. Okay? Basically, he's Death Adder with a new skin. He's got like this zombie skin. But I'm super excited to open this guy up because like the articulation is like the, it, it's, it's like the kind that doesn't show like the pins. It, it just kind of has, where, where it's more like about the aesthetic. It's not super articulated, but I heard that this, I, I've never gotten a figure like this and I was really, really excited to open this guy up. So, um, so yeah, you got uh, a Deathbringer and then you got the skeletons. That's my kind of golden ax uh, collection. And I do have the uh, little, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lightning, so, uh, the dwarf dude from Golden Axe and then the, the Red Sonia, I forgot their fucking names, but I'm gonna do a whole Golden Axe display. I'm gonna devote a whole shelf. I might put some, I don't know, some maybe, uh, maybe I'll take some of the backgrounds on these things and kind of create like a background there. I, I, wanna, I wanna do that up because I love that game. So, that's that. Next box. 13 by 13 by 16, nondescript box, no clue what's in here. Oh man, I think you're gonna like this, my wife, okay? <laughs> this is, <laughs> this thing is huge, holy shit. This is the gold label King Shark from Suicide Squad, uh, all right? Cool. This thing is gigantic. <laughs> this is bigger than the pictures. So I love this movie. Okay, we saw it in theaters. Yeah, it was great. When I saw this movie, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I think I actually, no. I bought this King Shark sight unseen, movie unseen. I was like, a giant half man, half shark with a dad body? I gotta fucking <laughs> get that thing. And, uh, and so this was the gold label. What's the difference? I think the gold label has different pants or something. I don't know the difference, but um, I, I, I can't imagine it's that different than the other. Maybe the, the other one has blood on his face, but uh, very, very excited about this. Sylvester Stallone, okay, bird. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited. I'm gonna be opening this one up. I wasn't too jazzed about some of the other Suicide Squad figures in the line. Um, I like the, what is it? Bloodsport? Was it Blood Bloodsport? Idris Alba? I like that figure. I like the John Cena one, the what is it, Peacekeeper. But uh, the other one, I didn't love the Harley Quinn. I liked her in the movie, I didn't love the figure. So maybe I just do King Shark. And I don't know, he's he's kind of a mutant. I feel like this guy would actually go with the turtles. Like, he's a, he's a mutant shark, right? <laughs> and after also the disappointment, they, they actually did some street shark reveals. You don't know this, my wife, but uh, Mattel put out some street sharks. I didn't love them. This might satisfy that sort of street shark uh, itch for me. So anyway, King, so he's the king of sharks, okay? Who, how, how do you beat that? So, so that's it. here's the back of it, by the way. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So yeah, very, very excited about this. Completely forgot about it too. So nice surprise. Moving on, all right? What is this? This is an Amazon box. This is real long. I don't know what this one is either. Some of these right here. I'm just are just like a mystery to me. That's a bit Lego. You know what? This is not Lego, but <laughs> this is gonna be very random for people to watch this channel. Like, uh, you know, actually no, because I have some displayed. This is the come on, the Bowser oh, airship. Cool. Okay, so I uh, am a fan of the uh, of the Mario. Was it the Jacks Mario figures? I have a few on my shelf, but I always lamented not having a display to put them on. This is gonna be my display. 
I'm just gonna have the ship and I'm gonna basically just have a shelf where I pile on all of the Mario figures, all of the Koopa kids. Bowser maybe goes on the ship, but I've always loved the ship. Brings back memories, Super Mario 3, bum, 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 bum. Jump on the fucking uh, anchor, p pulls you up, kick ass on this ship. So yeah, I, I, when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. Price wasn't that bad. I think it was like 40 bucks or something. It's pretty big for 40 bucks. Uh, they sell them in Target too. I got them on Amazon, but yeah, this is gonna be kind of like a, this will probably be really my Nintendo display. I don't have a lot of Nintendo shit, but I was like, if I get this, I can kind of center everything around it. And uh, hopefully they don't make some kind of like huge, awesome Bowser castle because then I'd be real tempted to get that. But I don't- No, I then feel... you would have to get that one. What, the Bowser castle? Yes, look at, look at my wife. My wife is an enabler, everybody, all right? <laughs> you are an enabler, madam, all right? But yes, you're no, right. I'm envisioning the setup with your Nintendo Lego. Wait, I don't have Nintendo Legos. No, didn't you have to set up the Nintendo? Oh, you're talking about the little NES Lego. Yeah, Lego. yeah I got to build that. Yeah, I do but I'm have saying that. if you put that next to everything, yeah, you just a put little it Nintendo all set. Yeah. Oh man, wife coming hot with the <laughs> ideas. Okay, this is what marriage is about, folks. Okay, sharing ideas. Yeah, jokes about oh, she's gonna divorce. I would never divorce you. I love, I love all the collecting that you. Do. Yes, and that's on camera, everybody. She loves it. Okay. <laughs> No, there's no gun under the table. I got both my hands here. This is an inglorious bastard. I'm not forcing her to say that. So uh, look at this. You get unboxing and you get true love, uh, uh, a true display of true love. What what what, what other reviewer well, I does that? Too, so. That's true. You are a collector. Yeah. Although you're big in the horror, which kind of scares me. Uh, my wife has problems. But uh, okay, so we got two more boxes left. We got this big old box from Target. Let's go ahead and open this sucker. I think both of these are, no, this one is Big Bad Toy Store. Let's open this sucker up. Come on. I'm really excited about that fucking airship. Um, yeah, it, it looks badass. Yeah. It looks really cool. So, this is like a box in a box situation? Okay, the first thing, oh. McFarland figures. So this is the Redeemer, okay? Uh, we spotlighted nice. this. I said I was gonna go in. Um, there was a deal on Target where it was like, you spend like a hundred bucks or something and you get like 25 bucks off. So like one of these actually landed free, um, which is really cool. So then this Gunslinger spawn, really, really excited about this. This is, wow. Oh man, I wanna McFarlane open this guy up. Done itself. Yeah. Oh man, McFarlane figures. McFarlane figures really is like my childhood. Like when I think of my childhood, uh, I really do associate it with all the fucking McFarlane figures. So I'm excited to get back into some McFarlane shit. And now there's this other box in that box. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Now I have that Super Mario 3 uh, bad guy theme song in my head. Bum, bum, ba 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 bum, 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 ba 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 bum. What is this? Oh man, it's another McFarlane. This is, whoa, this is the Violator. This is whoa. heavy as fuck. <laughs> Big Daddy Violator, okay? I said initially when this thing came out, I was like, I don't know about the girth and the, and the, the you know, he's, he's on roids, but looking at this, this is a great figure. The details. The detail on this thing is amazing. sick. And the presence on this thing is sick. Spawn is coming back. It's it's coming out the gate hot, okay? It's coming back. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is a lot of McFarlane shit. These two, I think I have the clown coming too. And what else was I, in this oh, line? Oh, I can't wait to see the clown. The clown has gotta be somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Maybe he didn't ship to me yet. But yeah, so I got, so we got Violator right here, okay? And then there's one final box. Oh my God, it's like, box within a box within a box i'm gonna have a cardboard sale this is <laughs> from bbts big bad toy store um excited to see i know some of the contents in here but i don't know all of it so um big bad toy store if you don't know online retailer uh, i get a lot of shit from there entertainment earth is another one i'm like filibustering by the way everybody could tell Fuck, man, open. Ah! Whew. Okay. 
feel like I just worked out. What do we got? <laughs> okay. You know what? This is a perfect example of, of something that only uh, people that collect, people that are avid collectors, they're big toy collectors and sort of have the disease that I have. This is something that only they would get, okay? Um, where you are so, are collecting so many things that you forget shit that you already had, okay? Case in point, I got over there this Funko Pop Tapatio Man and I ordered a Funko Pop Tapatio Man. There's no difference. I ordered this guy twice, okay? There's no difference. That's how, that, that, if, if there's half of the people watching this video are like, what the fuck, are you a moron? And then the other half are like, yeah, I, I, I've done that too. Uh, so I, I don't have any excuse. I, I double ordered, I got this other Tapatio Man. This one feels heavier than the other. So I don't know what I do with this. Maybe I give it away to somebody. Actually, I know somebody that might want this, but uh, yeah, uh, such are uh, the, this is the, the pitfalls of, uh, of collecting uh, uh, too much shit. So we got him out of the way. The oh, next- you could give him to Flipper Frank. I, you know what, actually, but I, I don't know the flip value of something like that, so <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Um, okay, the next thing is, these we're gonna do reviews on. Super 7, the Super 7 uh, Ninja Turtles Wave 3 line. So you got Michelangelo, you got uh, Mr. Rocksteady, I'm very excited about him. You got Metalhead, and then you got uh, Miss, uh, Miss April O'Neil. So we will do individual videos, reviews of these guys, but, uh, but they're in and um, I'm very excited. If you guys don't know, I'm all in on the, um, on the uh, uh, Super 7 Ninja Turtle line. And I think they're coming out with the Thundercats line soon too. Oh man. I think actually Wave 2 and Wave 3 are coming out at the same time. Some kind of weird fucking thing, but uh, very excited about those and uh we'll do a review of those too and then there's just some last things in here where more well there's this so this is a duke duke redeco so uh they came out with the the duke gi joe classified the normal duke this is kind of like a re a redeco of him they did uh him they did a uh, 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 roadblock and uh, uh scarlet um so again it's just kind of like an updated duke I don't know. I don't know why I had to have this. At the time, I, I hit purchase, and then I was like, but now I'm looking at I'm like, what's wrong with the old Duke? I don't know. I don't know, guys, all right? Uh, but let's get to the end of this. Well, when you open it, you're going to have to compare them. Oh, I will. I will, absolutely. Um, here's some random... This is real random. Uh, oh, no, this is a wave. Master Universe uh, Origin. So I got Orko. Okay. This is, I think, wave five. And then I got Mr. Scareglow. And then I got Trap Jaw, was really, really looking for this guy. And then I got Many Faces. These guys are hard to find. So um, I kind of just got the whole wave just to get them. Um, I feel like, actually, I do have a Scare Glow already, but it was, it was just the only way to get them. I couldn't find them on shelves and the Orco too. So anyhow, that's it. I think that's everything. Um, I feel like I got some kind of shipping formation for that fucking clown. But um, do I have them in box? Here, give me one second. Just keep the camera rolling. Okay, I'm back. Bonus box review, all right? Um, I kind of had this sitting outside, or not sitting outside, but sitting on a little uh, entryway. And I was like, I feel like I got confirmation for the other shit, and I did. So we got Raven Spawn. He's the other dude in the, in the Spawn line that I was really, really excited about. I went all in on this line. And then the other big daddy is the clown. The Violator Clown, um, this guy's heavy and he's in a huge box and he comes with all his weapons and shit like that. So just kind of stacked on his back. So take a look right here. He's going to look great. So uh, that completes, I think, that one spawn wave. And then that's it. That is our video. What's in the boxes, the segment, tons of boxes. I, I don't know. I mean, what, what am I going to break these down? I, I don't even know what to do. There's so much cleanup. That needs to be done, but I'm gonna start opening some of this stuff um, that maybe I don't do on camera, or maybe I do all of it on camera. I don't know. I do wanna jump into the Super 7, but I wanna record it, but I'm kinda like tired now, so I'm probably not gonna do that right now. But at some point, I'm gonna do these Super 7 reviews and uh, 
Fuck it, we'll do reviews on all this shit. Um, maybe even the Origins ones, although people have reviewed these so many times that I feel like unless I do something different, I mean, what, what do you want to watch this review for? But, uh, or I review Tapatio Man. Let's do a, a one hour review on Tapatio Man. Should we do that? You think people <laughs> will watch that? Um, I can't believe I got two of these. That, that, what a fucking bonehead move. But anyhow, anyhow, uh, that is all I got. What's in the boxes? Glad you guys stayed. Glad that you uh, 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 showed up. Very, very excited to unbox some of these figures. Very excited at some point to have a new display. I'm dreaming of like that new display. Thinking it's gonna be like Ninja Turtles on one side, Masters of the Universe on the other side, and then there's gonna be kind of like random sort of figure. I'm gonna do it up. I used to do it up before, had a little bit of a move. I'm gonna do it up again. We're gonna come out, out the gate hot with a new display. It's gonna fucking, we'll do a 360 panoramic. It's gonna be great, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun. But until then, we'll be reviewing figures. And that is all I got. I, I hope that's all I got. Holy shit, there's a ton of shit here. Uh, let me know what you guys think, okay? Uh, I, is there anything else I'm on the hunt for? I think I have every toy in existence. Uh, I think really the only thing is that Golden Axe, Golden Skeleton thing, which was some Hong Kong exclusive that I could not get because it's like, it was in Hong Kong. And um, uh, so I'm on the lookout for that. So maybe Big Bad Toy Store puts that up because I need that skeleton uh, two pack. And, uh, and yeah, but that's the only uh, 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 need that I think. And then obviously the neck of shit, Chrome Dome and all that. I'm, I'm rambling at this point on camera. Anyway, uh, I'll let you guys go. Comment, subscribe, drop us a like, all that good stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.